Hello everybody and welcome to the third and short report here for Wake Forest of Demon Deacon Football on College Football 2014. My name is James or GT Plays and ladies and gentlemen the end of the 2019 season is almost upon us. We have three games left. Louisville, Virginia, and NC State and then after that the season is basically over. So with that said we're going to break down, so far, the standings, the top 25, and the Heisman hopeful. So, let's get started by looking at the top 25. From number 1 to 10, Navy Midshipmen. They have played who's who. I think their first real challenge is going to be Houston. Someone's walking out with a number 1 ranking. Whoever loses, I think, will drop to number five because the first four all play each other Navy Houston Alabama Mississippi State second is Houston Alabama third Mississippi State fourth San Diego State fifth Northwestern sixth USC seventh Iowa Rutgers Oklahoma State your top ten Miami Kansas Notre Dame Virginia Tech Eastern Michigan your top fifteen North Carolina, Duke, Clemson, Wake Forest, Arizona, 16 through 20. 21 to 25, Georgia, Bowling Green, Illinois, Ohio, and Georgia Tech. Other receiving votes, 26 to about 30th, Auburn, UL Lafayette, Army, Oklahoma, Florida, Missouri, Florida State. Dropped out teams from last week to this week. Boise State, Florida State, UL Lafayette, and Tennessee. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at number one schedule from here on out. How did Navy get here? Well, they won against UConn. They won against CCF. They beat Air Force. They beat Temple. They beat Tulane. They beat Tulsa. Their first challenge came to Notre Dame. They whooped Notre Dame. Then it was on to South Florida. And now again, like I said, their first real challenge. Don't get me wrong, the Fighting Irish are a great team. But a real challenge to prove you belong in the top five. Even the top ten, you got to play someone in there. That's where Houston is. If they walk out against Houston with a win, I say they win the rest of their games. And they're going to the BCS National Championship. So, all the luck to them. Conference standings. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ACC, the Atlantic side. Clemson, Wake Forest. They top the charts at six wins. So does Louisville, though, but they have a better, uh, worse, sorry, conference record. So they are below us. Florida State, 4-3 in conference. Clemson, 5-2. Deacon sits second. If us and Clemson tie in the end, then we get the tiebreaker over them. Syracuse, Boston College, NC State, all looking to next year. In the ACC Coastal, it's a three-team race as of right now. Duke, Miami, and North Carolina. Duke is 5-1, and one, they're 6-3 and three overall. Miami 7-2 overall. North Carolina and Virginia Tech are both 6-3 and three overall. But North Carolina, 4-2 and two in conference play. So, we'll check out Clemson's rest of schedule and it looks pretty easy. They have Syracuse, they have Boston College, and they have South Carolina. And for Florida State, their schedule, Boston College, Syracuse, and Florida. So between these three teams right here, the Deacons, the Knowles, and the Tigers, it looks like Clemson is the easiest. We have the second. And then Florida State has the toughest. Don't forget about Louisville. We play them this week. If we come out with a win, all they have to do is fight off NC State. But that's going down the road and looking a little bit too far. Heisman hopefuls. So far, number one, it's Iowa's halfback, Alex Henry, from Deer Park, Texas. Then it's Navy's Micah Williams. From Long Branch, New Jersey. Then it's Wayne Haynes out of South Gastonia, North Carolina. Then Terrence Peterson from Bama. Camp 
Lejeune Sin, North Carolina, and then Maurice Howard out of Rutgers from North Ogden, Utah. So Haynes is making moves, so is Williams. Henry still the Heisman leader and dropping Peterson and Howard. So there's the Heisman hopefuls. There's the standings, at least for the ACC. There's the top 25. Let's take a look at award semifinalists and BCS rankings. And then we'll call this an update quit. So far for the Maxwell, it's Alex Henry. Walter Camp, it's Alex Henry with Wayne Haynes behind them. The Benar the Bednarik, it's Barry McRae for uh, Colorado State. Then Nagurski, Howard Banks for Louisville, O'Brien, Houston quarterback Roger Tucker, Walker Award, Alex Henry, and then Haynes is in third. Belitnikoff, Darius Love for the Fighting Irish, Daniel Meyer for Marshall, Outland, Houston, Kyle Sanders, Remington, Curtis Mayo out of Bama, Lombardi, Howard Banks out of Louisville, best linebacker, currently injured, so that could play a role. We'll still give it to Luther Johnson or Duke. But right now, you come to Josh Robinson right there. Thorpe, Barry McRae out of Colorado State. Groza, Drew Reed out of Rutgers. And then you see down there, Adam King making a little headway in eighth. I don't think he'll get there in time. Ken Robinson, Georgia Tech punter. And then the best returner, Mike Warren from Notre Dame. I don't see Wayne Haynes on there. And that might be an issue with us. So let's go to the BCS rankings, and that will be it, folks. Your BCS rankings heading into the final couple of weeks, final two, three weeks for every team. Navy, Houston, Alabama, Mississippi State, San Diego State, USC, Northwestern, Rutgers, Iowa. They have Miami in 10th. Oklahoma State, Notre Dame, Kansas. We didn't even see them. Where are they? They're 13th. Virginia Tech, Eastern of Michigan, Duke, North Carolina, Clemson, Wake Forest, Georgia, Arizona, Bowling Green, Illinois, Georgia Tech, Auburn. That is an interesting BCS roundup. But next time out, week 12, the Deacons have the Cardinals of Louisville at home, and they're asking fans to show up. So do your part. Show up to the game and support the Deacons. Thank you for watching the third and short report. Take care.